this video I want to take a look at uh, this SWR watt meter antenna tuner MFJ949 Echo which is uh, mine since a uh, few years now it's working okay but uh, obviously it's got some limits to it I want to take a look at, uh, at it with uh, the uh, nano VNA especially uh, because there's a dummy load installed, I want to check it over the range of frequencies. So this is the setup. The Nano VNA is uh, connected uh, directly to the um, transmitter port on the back. The selector on the front is uh, on uh, routing the signal to uh, the dummy load. So first of all, let's measure the dummy load uh, on DC. As we can see here, the clips are directly connected to the uh, resistive load and is uh, showing uh, almost 57 ohms at DC. The load is uh, rated as 50 ohm plus or minus 10 ohms. Let's now take a look at what happens at RF. I have pre-calibrated the nano VNA from 1 to 30 megahertz. Here we have three traces the yellow one is for the swr and we got the scale on the left the uh, green one is a return loss which is another way to look at it and the uh, smith chart as we can see the marker here is now at uh, one megahertz and the swr is already 1.1 the uh, resistive uh, the real part of the impedance is showing uh, almost 50 56 ohms you can already see uh, the behavior is um, is going up and up which is uh, expected and we're looking at uh, almost 1.4 on the grid here at the top edge so if uh, i move the marker up to uh, directly to uh, the uh, top uh, we are looking at 28.5 megahertz. The SWR is 1.33. Impedance is 63, 62.9 uh, minus uh, 9J. So uh, there is, uh, and it is um, also, we can see here in the Smith chart that is um, going uh, on the lower side of the chart. So it's showing a capacitive uh, behavior um so yeah this dummy load is um is all kind of okay to if you wanna if you wanna quickly select uh something to uh, put uh, the power of your radio into uh without uh, going over the air but obviously it's not more than that um i decided to do this because i was testing the radio on the dummy load the internal dummy load and i was uh uh, looking at some um, more than expected reflected power on the uh, on one of the two needles, so I I thought mm, let me check how is uh, the dummy load on the nano VNA, and this is the behavior. Okay, here now another test. Uh, I have connected a 50 ohm termination to resistive uh, termination to uh, the port uh, one of the antenna. Uh, so I'm gonna now switch. Uh, the the rotor is switched on the front and uh, we uh, check how uh, in a through in a through position so i just check how uh, the entire assembly is uh, interacting uh, the termination is good up to one gig or um, or maybe two i don't remember now exactly but uh, for sure up to 30 megahertz is, a, is is more than fine i've got a riddle loss i measure riddle loss of 30 db at uh, 144 megahertz so no problem whatsoever so uh let me switch it to was it port one there you go so as we can uh see in the nano vna the situation is is better than before now at 28.5 we got 1.24 he says 61 uh, minus 3 um, um, but it's much better than before the swr here is um, at the beginning is um, 
uh, 1.02 and once again it goes up to 1.26 uh, um, so if we now take a look at this load over directly over the nano vna we can uh, compare okay i uh, want you to see that uh, now the uh, termination uh, is connected directly to the nano vna but i left i've left uh, all the uh, adapters in the middle so the sma to pl the pl to n the one that i've used before except uh, the double mail here but uh, that's okay as you can see here now on the display of the nano vna situation is uh, is totally totally fine we are down to the noise with the written loss uh, swr is basically flat all over so everything that we have seen before is all introduced by the uh, mfj uh, by the unit itself and this is to be expected by the way because as as we can see there are a lot of uh, uh, flying wires here except uh, pcb uh, we basically lose the uh, 50 ohm uh, impedance in in this uh, whole system there's a lot of inductance and capacitance everywhere. So the more we go up in frequency, the, 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 the worse is uh, behaving the unit. So it's not very well built for this. You know, it could have been done much better, but this is uh, really done in a, in a, on a large scale in, in economy, I would say, you know. Well, overall, uh, the unit uh, works okay for what it is and for probably uh, the uh, average uh, ham radio operator. So, you know, it's okay. Maybe it's a bit overpriced uh, in respect of what uh, it's got to offer. Um, but um, nevertheless, um, you know, as long as you, as you are aware of uh, what you're dealing with, that's okay. Well, that was a quick one. I hope uh, you found it interesting. Thanks for watching 7.3.